Romero, <laughs> welcome back to the show. Uh, pleasure to see our next guest joining us. Of course, she runs one of the largest cities in uh, in Canada and in British Columbia. And we are talking, of course, about Mayor Diane Watts. Now, do we call you your worship? We can't yeah, it's ever worship, remember. Right? Oh, Diane's fine. Oh, no, but come it's, on, it's I want to call your somebody worship, your yes. worship. The honorific. So who actually, who uses the honorific? Is that for ceremonial purposes or...? No, usually, usually uh, when people are addressing you that don't know you, uh, they'll call you your worship. Your worship. Or, or so do you ever Chambers lord and... that over friends and family? Oh, yeah. only my husband. Good. Yeah, <laughs> he calls me your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> and a well-earned title. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Surrey and and uh, and what's going on. First of all, the Fusion Festival. Yes. Uh, which was such a huge celebration last year and in, in the years past. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, that's coming up actually July 16th and 17th. And it's a wonderful event. We've got 35 pavilions right now. <laughs> and uh, and uh, just uh, all of the countries come together. And there's a lot of music and food and, and education pieces. Yeah. All of those things. We have a parade and a powwow. And it's, well, uh, you have a parade, amazing. you have a powwow. There's, there's going to be celebrity chefs there. Yes. You've got tons of music. I mean, how many people are expected at this event? Well, we'll get uh, probably about 100,000 people. Wow. Yes, <laughs> yes. And this is going to be amazing. a lot of fun for you. I mean, as, as a mayor of, of uh, such a diverse city as well, to see everybody come together and, and celebrate and learn about other cultures that are, you know, their neighbors and, and people that they know and everything, it's got to be tremendous just to see all the colors and everything going on. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. And when we have the Parade of Countries, uh, it is so beautiful and so colorful. And last year we had the uh, Aboriginal Pow Wow and we brought all of the countries together. So it was the first time the Aboriginal Pow Wow had, uh, uh, had all of the Pardon. countries participate. It what an amazing phenomenal. way well, to learn about other cultures too. It is. Absolutely. Just to see how many how many countries and how many places around the world are represented in, in the city of Surrey, right? That's like right. when you see the parade. It's how big be is Surrey? Because everybody talks about it being one of the largest cities that there is, but how big is it? Well, population's about a half a million. Wow. And uh, land-wise, of course, we stretch to, we're the second largest border crossing in the country all the way up to the Fraser River. So you can fit Vancouver, Burnaby, and Richmond into our land mass. So <laughs> it's, it's vast. <laughs> so yeah. you're not bigger population side, but you're bigger in terms of area. It's, yeah, to go from <laughs> one end of the city to the other end of the city can be can be somewhat of a challenge. What got you involved in politics in the first place? I mean, what was the motivation uh, for you to sort of jump in and, and give it a shot? Honestly, yeah. my honest answer. Yes, please. I had no motivation, and it was pretty much on a it wasn't really a dare. People were pushing me to run, and I didn't want to be have anything to do with politics. Yeah. And so when they continued for Makes six, the best six politicians, I did. I said, fine, I'll run when I lose. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> and of yeah, course, I, I, I find it hard to believe it's almost been three years since we first uh, met you and had you on the show. That's and right. The yeah. election will be coming up in uh, yeah. November. November. Yes. Are you going to run again? I am. Yes. I, I I've decided to do that because I'm not quite finished doing what I'm doing in the city of Surrey. So there's a few things I still want to complete. Like what? Well, uh, predominantly the city center and our town centers, just making sure that they are as vibrant and as lively yeah. as can be, uh, all of the festivals coming together and the connectivity and transportation. Well, and that is something that was a real focus for you. And, and you know, the city of Vancouver, obviously that was a focus for sort of the last decade as well as getting people in and reowning that downtown core as a, as a vibrant place for families, for community, for everything else. Exactly. Well. Uh, that's got to be a real long-term thing, though, doesn't it? I mean, y you can't really complete it in a finite well, you know years. what, but you can set things in motion. So all of the public policy, all of the systems you can put in place, and once they're in place, they will continue whether you're there or not. Right. And so, so that's you don't like, give the guy behind you a chance. It's just <laughs> yeah. like, you, you just implement those, and you're going yeah. in a direction. And uh, because you know what, nobody's there forever, and I certainly don't want to be there forever. I have but a life next, to live. Next term, yeah. yes, you will be running. Okay, next let's year. talk about the library. This uh, is stunning. This is amazing. Tell us about the architect, the library, when it will be open. Bing well, Tom. it'll be open in September, and Bing Tom, of course, is the architect. Uh, he designed the uh, Simon Fraser University building, uh, city central building, uh, in the city center. And so he's been involved in planning our downtown core for quite some time. But he's an amazing visionary. Yeah. And so I think it's really important when you set the stage of, and the bar as high as we have for our city center, the other architects that come in to build the buildings, gotta raise the, game. they've got to they've yeah. step up their game, absolutely. That is a stunning building I mean when you look at it and we just have the one shot but when when you look at uh, the way that it flows on yes. the interior and the way that people move through that the accessibility because I think 
almost all cities now are really reowning that idea of libraries as a public space and mm -hmm. and citizens as well you know it's it's yes. becoming that hub that maybe was forgotten for a few well years absolutely and we've got Simon Fraser University right there we've got the library opening we're moving City Hall there we've got some other high rises going on uh, of course the the hospital and, and E division but also to uh, linking those many pieces uh, as we build our performing arts center in the downtown core is is a plaza so that plaza that's public space will be used for so many festivals and gatherings and for the community so it's the community space now because you uh, ran for mayor of Surrey on a dare and, <laughs> oh uh, no it was a for council on a dare for council dare <laughs> mayor for was council. after for mayor it was for other reasons now with what you've done I mean just mentioning everything that is going on in Surrey creating this hub I mean looking back on the past couple of years you must be very proud on of the accomplishments because I mean Surrey is one of those places that has you know it's the jokes the reputation but looking at the art, it's moving so far forward yeah, from what people so think and this stereotype it just seems to have changed so much you must be very proud of that well you know what I I'm blessed with a great team and uh, you know we don't play politics around the council table we've made a decision to move forward uh, with a vision for the city and take the best interests of the general public into account and that's what they expect from their politicians they don't want people fighting and bickering and uh, you know it, it, it gets old very we have quickly. reality TV for that <laughs> exactly <laughs> they've got reality TV <laughs> in other communities that can take the take that yeah. up um, so for us, it was really important just to roll up our sleeves and get the work done. And and again, I mean, uh, the majority of council, uh, and, and this may have something to do with it, is, is predominantly women. So I have uh, probably within Canada uh, the most women on council than, than any, than any yeah. other city. What kind city. of difference do you think that makes, having uh, being surrounded by women? Well, it, it, it's... It, you work a little bit differently. You 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 um, are more conciliatory and looking for solutions as opposed to uh, pos having a position about something. And it, it's not that it's right. He's looking at me. <laughs> it's not that it's right, rad, wrong. Come on, take, <laughs> or a, good or bad. take a position. It's no, there. a different way. No, it's, it's a different true. way. Well, and everyone Men will tell you, uh, you know, fashion. study after study, that women do communicate and they work together in a far different way exactly. than, than men tend yes. to work together, and you get yes. very different. Mike knows that because he works with all women. They're exactly. Yeah. I, I do. To the I work, yeah, pretty much. That's exactly <laughs> it. And and so exciting to see when the community reacts to the changes that you're making, mm -hmm. and they start owning those spaces. Like the Fusion Festival is a great example, right? You set it up, you put the infrastructure there, but then you let people decide what kind of celebration that's right. going to be. Right. Exactly. And I think that's the key. You have to engage the community because we all live in the community, and they have to take ownership and responsibility for whatever their piece is. Yeah. So, and I've done that all along. I've said, you know what? This is your community yeah, you need you to be out. responsible and take ownership of of whatever piece it is that you you want yeah. and we can come together and we can facilitate that collectively and so and again I think people begin to realize it's not turning to government saying well you fix it and you, right, you right. do this for me and you do that for me yeah. it's okay how can I participate to make it a better better community to live in well thank Very you nice. so much we want to tell thank you once you again worship. that the Surrey Fusion Festival is the ultimate celebration of music food and culture and it's happening July 16th and 17th and yes it will be sunny I have good word on that for yeah. information on the activities you can go to the website to find out what's going on we didn't even talk about the food oh, oh the, the food, food must the be food. unbelievable the food is there phenomenal. we're gonna take a break we'll